We're looking at the uh, time lapse here from Western Palm City. Had a quick shower, move on through, and then uh, looking nice there with the sunset. Look at that quick little shower, blew through too. And of course, we saw those rainbows all over. Looking nice. Still some showery activity offshore. This is all going to blow on shore from the Treasure Coast uh, to the Space Coast here through the overnight hours. And we're tracking some here just offshore of St. Lucie and Martin County. Now, you see this little blip there, uh, maybe five or six miles off of Sailfish Point. That'll come ashore pretty quickly. I already have one on Hutchinson Island making its way across there and over the intracoastal and about to hit the mainland. And these will come ashore here within the next half an hour to hour. Uh, Vero Beach saw a quick little shower that moved on through for you and a couple little blips that disappeared in Palm Beach County here as it dried up as it came on shore. 81 degrees in West Palm right now, 80, 78, 80 degrees in Vero Beach. Low temperatures tonight in the mid to upper 70s, and we do have still that continued chance for some of those showers to blow ashore. Tomorrow, too, uh, some showers blowing ashore from time to time, maybe a downpour here or there, but in between, we're going to see a lot of sunshine, and it should be nice out there. It's going to warm temperatures up into the upper 80s. Humidity will be up a little bit tomorrow and Friday, too, and really just a, a quick shower with that onshore flow. Change the flow a little bit on Friday, turn it more northerly or even northwesterly. So shower activity decreases as it's not going to be blowing in off the water. Then we are awaiting a cold front coming for the end of the weekend. Saturday will be warm, a quick shower possible as this slides on through. And then we will cool down a little bit and also lower the humidity a little bit. It's not really a big rainmaker, though. Notice that it only bumped rain chances up a little bit there on Sunday. But we're bumping down. The muggy meter goes down almost into the comfy category. We'll get there. We're almost there. We're almost at the end of our rainy season here. Uh, the official end is the 15th, but it normally doesn't really shut down until the third week. So so uh, we are almost there. All right, new area here, just a 20% chance as we're waiting for a tropical wave to move off the coast of Africa. So this is way down the road. And we have travel storm Philippe still out here. 40 mile per hour winds. This is a sheared mess at the moment, but it may get wrapped up in a frontal boundary and move northward, maybe become extra tropical, but strengthen a little bit as it moves over Bermuda. Beach and boating forecast, still a little bit of a swell and wave action out there for tomorrow, especially the Treasure Coast. And uh, we're looking at highs in the upper 80s and here's our little cool down it's not a huge drop but hey low 80s with lower humidity and 60s in the morning should feel nice